I ran away from home on my 20th birthday. During lockdown, my dad and I, we never saw eye to eye, bro. Like, we, me, my parents, we'd have constant arguments every single day. Like, constant bickering back and forth. I don't even remember what we were arguing about. We'd be full-on yelling at each other, like, at least once a week. And... It was all because I didn't like the way they were trying to like enforce their ideas on me. I basically thought my parents were useless. I thought like they're stupid. They don't know anything. And my dad's like, he doesn't like know how to be a true man. And so I had no respect for my dad. I had no respect for my mom either. And I thought I'd better, I'm better off without them. And so I decided that I'm gonna run away. And what I didn't know until the day of was that my father was actually planning like a birthday dinner at some restaurant and so I didn't know that I get a phone call at work from my mom telling me that hey we're gonna be going to this restaurant later can you like meet us there and stuff and I say yeah yeah totally but thing was I wasn't planning on coming home that day because I was so fed up bro like you don't understand how mentally draining it is to be constantly yelled at your parents for some shit that you just don't even care about anymore it's like it got to a point where I would much rather stay at work than at home and it, it was really ridiculous because like I'd go at work like let's say if my shift is like I, I clock in at what 10 a.m I might go to work at 8 I clock out at 3, but I won't leave until like 9 p.m. So I'd be spending all my time there. And it's like, I'd be just like messing around doing a bunch of nonsense, a bunch of bullshit and shit. Where I'm just wasting time. I don't have anything better to do. But I would much rather sit at work doing nothing than being at home and getting yelled at and shit. So I packed the bag. I had like three t-shirts with me. I had three pairs of pants with me. And just the bare necessities that I need just to so I can stay away, stay like go get like an apartment or some shit. So I packed my bag. Once I clocked out from work, bro, I was gone. I went to a hotel and I didn't even tell my parents I'm leaving. I did just like I texted my mom. I was like, I'm not coming back home. Don't bother texting me. And of course, she texted me. She called me like three, four, five times. My dad called me too. And I just turned my phone off and I didn't speak to them for like a couple of days. It was just me at the hotel room. I didn't want to go back home because I knew if I go back home, I'm going to get my ass beat. I'm going to get yelled at again. And it's like, I don't want to deal with none of that toxic shit. So what I planned was, you know, I don't want to go back home. And, but I can't afford to stay in this hotel anymore. I'm just going to go sleep in my car. I uh, slept in the car, I think, one night. And I was like, I folded, bro. <laughs> it's shit, I don't know. People who, who slept in your cars and shit, man. they like, I just can't do it, man. I folded. I couldn't, I couldn't stay in my car. I just went back home. Yeah, I got yelled at. I got... <laughs> I didn't get beat, luckily. But... I got yelled at a lot. Me mentally, I'm tuned out. All right. Mentally, I'm tuned out. I'm not, I'm not listening to a word that my mom is saying, the word that my dad's saying. Until my mom mentioned that my dad cried. And this is a dude that never cries, bro. Like, I've only seen him cry maybe once or twice. Ten years ago. And so to hear that he was crying because of the shit that I did, it really made me feel some type of way bro like that's when i started realizing yeah i fucked up and the reason i say this story is because your dad didn't raise you to be a bitch bro he didn't make all these sacrifices just so you can bitch around complaining about your life and shit trying to run away bro that is like the most coward shit you can do he didn't raise you to be a coward he didn't raise you to run away and shit he didn't raise you to do any of that it doesn't it doesn't matter how much of a man you think you are he raised you to be a man you like you gotta understand that your dad is just a kid when he's raising you man i'm the same age that my dad was when he had me bro i can't take care of a kid i can barely take care of myself if i'm being honest like i don't have the capacity to, like the mental and like 
emotional capacity to take care of another child right now. And my dad was doing that at my age. He was running. He he dropped out of college to support my mom and me. He was working overtime to support me because he didn't have enough money because he dropped out of college. He moved us out of like, I could have grown up in like the shittiest neighborhoods in California, bro. But he made sure that I have like a safe environment growing up because your environment dictates so much of your life, bro. I have no idea where I'd be right now if my dad hadn't done that. And I want to go complain about like, oh, if you actually moved out, if you lived in the hood and some shit, I could have had like so much more money growing up. We could have had like more money, but like what money would ma money wouldn't even matter if I wasn't alive. If he didn't even have a son anymore. Your dad is literally doing the best he can to raise you. Like he has no instruction manual. Now he has the internet so he can actually like compromise. He can like learn how to become a better father, how to like you know, look up YouTube videos, how to like become a better man, how to raise your son as a man is some shit, bro. But he didn't have that growing up. He had what his own father, my dad's dad died before he became a father. So he had nobody to look up to as a role model. Like fathers, they're just doing what they think is the best for their own child. They're not thinking about ruining your life. That is like the last thing they want to think about, bro. Like, if you have both of your parents, that is the last thing they're going to think about is ruining your life. They're honestly, they're just trying to look out for you, trying to raise you the best they can. Like, it might not be the very best, but it's the best they can offer you. And so they're not perfect. My dad's not perfect. Like, there are a lot of flaws I can list about him that would make him a better father that would make him like a better role model but then like what person doesn't have their flaws what person doesn't have their downsides i'd be a hypocrite if i started judging somebody on their like negative aspects when i know i'm not perfect myself you're not perfect yourself you know there's bullshit people bro like they'll tell you that they you don't have to like respect people who don't respect you bro it, not if your parents honestly i think it's different when it comes to your parents bro like even if you have shitty upbringing, even if your father left you, even if you're traumatized, bro, it does not matter. If anything, bro, like if you're traumatized, if your father left you, you have a clear cut example of what not to be for your own kids. You know that you shouldn't leave your kids if you want them to grow up straight. You know you don't need to beat your kids to raise them properly. Your parents got their ass beat. That's the only reason why they beat your ass too. You know, I'm lucky that my dad never laid a hand on me. But I know so many of my friends, bro, like, they can't say the same because they all got their ass beat by their dads. I know another dude whose dad has no backbone and his mom has to, like, do take over, like, the masculine role and shit. And so he's learned that, like, you need to be, like, a masculine man if you want, like, your woman to respect you and shit. Like, whether or not your dad's a good dad or bad dad, he's still teaching you. Like, you gotta understand that he's, he's your father. He's your teacher. He's your life mentor. Whether it's indirectly or directly, your father is teaching you to be a man. And it's up to you to decide if you're gonna use that information for better or for worse. You could have a fucked up childhood. You could have fucked up parents, bro. You can have, like constant bickering and shit you can never get along with your parents but at the end of the day that's what's gonna guide you to become a better man you can take all the bad shit that happened to you in your life and use that as a crutch and you have every right to do that you can say that i had a terrible father that's why i'm the reason why i turned out the way i did or you can take or you can take all that negative bullshit that you've been thrown into and mold you into like a proper man and teach your son how to be a man. You know, your father had to make so many sacrifices just for you to be where you are now. He's had to guide you through life. He's had to be your leader, your teacher and shit. So that you grow up to become like an ideal man. So you can raise your own children. Your father didn't teach you to run away from your problems. He didn't teach you that whenever you have a problem in life, you run the opposite direction. You know, your father's always going to have a bit of wisdom over you because he's like 20 years. He's got 20 years on you. He's got 30 years on you. He's experienced more life than you have. You can't just like 
disrespect him like off the rip learn from him and be patient with them you know there's people who's gonna tell you like they're gonna put ideas in your head and tell you that if your parents are toxic you need to cut them off for good and i tr i listen to the i listen to this advice and i figured out it's not the way to go about it you don't want to be resentful towards your parents especially your father after all the sacrifices he made and you know there are outliers there's gonna be some guy watching this who has a dad i don't know maybe he tried to murder him as a baby maybe he's trying to kill him maybe he's on the run for i don't know bro like whatever his story is like that's a different story but majority of people who have a father and resents them is doing so for no good reason like it holds no it does you no good to hold a grudge against your own dad to resent him because you don't see eye to eye because you guys don't have the same values he's your father bro he, de he deserves a lot more respect than you give him he's responsible for your education he's responsible for your emotional intelligence the reason why you can discern right from wrong he is your role model he didn't have like masculine role models and yet he did his best to raise a child as a man you don't even have a child so how can you judge what your father did when you don't know what you would have done in the same situation you could think you know you could think that you know what you do you might like think about oh if i was my dad if i was him i would have done this like this or that but you don't know that when you have a kid like you have no idea how you're gonna treat him even me bro like i'll say that i'm never gonna beat my child but i don't know that i might just wake up one day piss the fuck off and start whooping his ass do i want to know but it's like i don't know what i would do so it's like you don't know what you do in your father's position so you can't like be so harsh on him so stop being a coward respect your father make up with your father and try to be the man your father wanted you to be